So this is exercise number 14, steady state thermal analysis of a plate. So to do that, uh, if we inspect the problem, we can see there is a fan and this is a plate where we want to provide the cooling. The dimension of the plate is 10 into 10 into 1 meter and conductivity 400 watt per meter Kelvin, heat flux 5000, oh sorry, 50,000 watt per meter square, convection film coefficient 300 watt per meter square and temperature at the end 200 kelvin ambient temperature 298 kelvin and the analysis in steady state so first we will open prepo max and then go to parts right click sorry file new and select the unit system for this case i'm going to select a meter kilogram this one and parts import then exstp that's our file its dimension is 10 into 10 into 1 it's actually created in so this is our domain its uh, length is 10 meter and 10 meter into 1 meter which is created in autocad fusion 360 then I'll select this uh, uh, the solid element and right click and create mesh. So this is my default mesh. And next, uh, uh, I'm going to give the material properties. So this is my material property. I'm going to create the material property thermal conductivity. That is. Uh, from this problem, thermal conductivity is 400 watt per meter Kelvin. So 400. <coughs> and I must select the step. So step. It's actually heat transfer step. So select heat transfer. Then the boundary conditions. Right click create. So from this we can see one end of the problem one end of the box is provided with the heat flux q and the other end is a temperature and there is a convection all over the top so we are going to provide that so the first end this end i'm going to give a temperature the temperature here is 200 kelvin so this is degree celsius so 200 minus uh, two, uh, 273 so minus 73 degree celsius then similarly this side a heat flux is there so we need to give the heat flux so create then this is not temperature I'm sorry, sorry. so the uh, analysis loads for not boundary condition loads create then surface flex what per meter square and our surface flex is 50,000 watt per meter square so this is 50,000 50,000 then you need to select this surface because here it is going to apply and uh, on the top side there is a convection so create convective film then the sink temperature is sink temperature which means atmosphere temperature is 298 kelvin 298 kelvin means 273 plus 298 that is 73 98 25 degree celsius so this will be 25 degree celsius 25 degrees Celsius. Press OK. Sorry, uh, the film coefficient. We must use the film coefficient. It is convective film coefficient 300 watt per meter square Kelvin. So this is 300. And it must be selected on some surface. So over. I'm assuming the fan is here. OK. Then all the things are set. Then right click and run. Sorry, we need to assign the material. So 
so I need to assign the material property. So first I will create the section and it is actually a solid section. Okay. I'll select this one as my item. Okay. So solid selection is there. Then run. And if you go to the, the results, you can see the results here. And this is the maximum temperature and uh, minimum temperature. And similarly, you can find out the RFL values and flex, heat flex, watt per meter square. And why it is happening? Because of the due to this heat transfer, there is only a small area it is affecting. And if you change the, if you suppress the convective film, if I deactivate it and if we rerun my analysis, you can see the flux variations from this one. So this is the temperature and this is the heat flux. Okay, 